guys welcome back to world's illuminate 11 on this tuesday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here and if you are looking to have a personal reading done i am offering personal readings you can contact me via my email or via my website details will be in the description box below and yesterday we had a couple of messages that were coming through one was the beautiful message you know to do with you for you to expect magic and miracles in relation to your journey in relation to your everyday life as well you know really Really beautiful message do check that out if you haven't seen it and the second message was really sort of checking in with the energy as we started this new week to see what was going on with the divine masculines and the divine feminines and it was really showing that you know the divine masculines are reaching the end of a cycle they are in this place of planning sort of making choices planning but they were really saying to the divine feminine that I am working on letting go of the past and that came in so many me messages you know from from their higher self about the things that they're working on letting go of so do check that out if you haven't seen it and then for you as well the divine feminine there was the message about sort of walking away from the things that no longer serve you the things that you know you want to walk away from you know where you want to make a change in your life about making those decisions and then also about working on your inner world to get to the place of finding that inner peace and finding that inner union because because the more you get into that place, that is what is going to help as well your journey to move forward, you know, to get into that union as well with your divine masculine and that really sort of worked well with the message that I was coming to that came through you know the for the guidance that I had to do for my August blog post which was all about sort of the healing and inner work that, that you do for yourself as a divine feminine to help things to move forward so do also check out my blog post I will put the link in the description box below it will really sort of help you as well in relation to your journey about feeling that you are enough and worthiness and you know all these things that are necessary for you to feel within yourself to be able to move forward on your journey and also you know so that was about that working on yourself and getting to that place of of being more peaceful and calmer within yourself and also in that inner union and you know so do check out that video as well from yesterday and um and then one of you know at the end i also did um affirmations from the divine feminine's higher self as well and one of the affirmations that came out was I am exactly where I'm meant to be and uh, one of our soul sisters then commented you know I saw this comment this morning and I started sort of writing you know sort of typing to respond to this and all I could hear in my head was you know um, video message video message and I just knew that this was a message to for me to actually talk about this and you know the comment that was given by our soul sister the angels are really sort of saying that this will relate or this will resonate with somebody else as well in relation to their own journey obviously the uh, the circumstances may be different you know the situation may be different on the 3d however the sort of say message will also resonate with someone else so that is why i'm going to talk about this uh, in 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 this video and the message was really every time i hear i'm not going to read the whole thing but i'm i'm going to read part of it every time i hear i am exactly where i'm meant to be it triggers me i truly believe it but it's a hard one to swallow I want so bad to be able to walk away from what no longer serves me, but I'm, I'm stuck. So, and then, um, they go on to explain what is going on is to do with a divorce. And, you know, there are certain things that need to happen sort of that are sort of beyond um, their control, you know, things that need to happen first for the divorce to then be able to go through. But in their mind, you know, they want to do this. They desire to make this change. You know, it is, it's like, I'm so close to my new beginning. It goes on later on to say, I've got so close to my new beginning, yet it feels so far. I've, and, and then there's this sort of like feeling that it is just stagnant because of things beyond um, their control and the angels are saying this will be something that will relate to others or someone else as well you know that sort of feeling that that you know what you want to walk away from 
you know you want to make a certain change but there is that something else in the way something else that has to happen first for the way to open up for you to be able to make that change and you feel like you are stuck in a way like your hands are tied you can't quite make the change that you want to make until that sort of thing happens and you know this can be to do with a divorce where it can be to do with financial um, sit with a financial situation or maybe finding it difficult to get to an agreement with your partner about, you know, making, splitting in like the finances and it, or it can be something, it, it can be anything, you know, anything to do with a divorce that is sort of in the way that you feel that is sort of holding you um, unable to make the change that you want to make, even though in your heart and soul, you know you that, you know, if it was just if that wasn't there, you would just walk away. You would just make that change, you know, and it, it can be in other situations. It can be in a job, for example, where, for example, maybe you haven't quite found that job that you know is the one, you know, the one that you feel is coming from your heart and you may have been looking for a job for some time and, you know, you've not quite found that job yet. So you can't just walk away or you can be in a situation where you want to make a change. You know, I know I want to make a change and I know what I want to do but I feel to a certain extent that there is that way the way hasn't quite opened up for me yet I haven't quite reached that place where I would like to reach you know with the channel for example for me to be like okay bye and walk away as well from 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 the, the from from the job and you know and then do what I truly want to do or it can just be a fear, you know, it can be that fear of making that change, that fear of what if, you know, I do that and then things don't work out, you know, that fear that sort of comes in and, you know, stops you from taking that leap of faith to do the thing that you want to do. And, or it can just be, you know, it can be that fear that actually you, you really feel or you see the situation as stagnant because they, they, you just don't see a way out you know these things have to happen first for you to be able to get to walk away from this situation and and the angels are saying you know there will be quite a number of situations where there is that feeling that things are stagnant and and then you know it it becomes harder to sort of take um you know to say the affirmation i am exactly where i meant to be without it triggering you and uh, so the message that's coming through from the angels is, okay, so I'll start with myself as well. You know, with my job situation, I got to a point in my life last year, um, it was sort of around June time where I was just really sort of uh, in this place of being down and just wanting to get rid of it and just just wanting it to change. And it, that was actually bringing me down. I was in this place of ha actually having so much negativity in my life in relation to that job situation. You know, whereas the thing that for you to actually do is to be in that place of being accepting of your situation, you know, and knowing that that situation is happening the way that it is happening in your life right now, you know, whatever that thing that may be holding you, um, that you may feel like it is there to hold, to stop everything from moving forward, that is causing everything to be stagnant, that situation is actually happening for a reason. And, you know, and that reason, you may not see it because you don't see the bigger picture. For you, it just feels like oh the, all these things are happening on the 3d to stop me from being able to get walk away and do what i want to do but the angels are saying whatever that is that is going on in your life right now or is stopping everything is actually happening for a reason and that reason as our soul sister went on to say you know um i i know it's a giant lesson i'm trying so hard to keep my vibration high um, around um, the ex whose vibration is really low and for them that's a giant lesson and the angels are saying whatever it is that is going on whatever is in the way whatever is holding the situation is actually whatever that hold up is that's the word that's coming through the hold up whatever the hold up is thank you angels then that is actually 
you know there for a reason it is there because it is teaching you a lesson you may not see what that lesson is you know you're just thinking i just want out of this situation but there is something that you're learning and for you you may think i've learned all the lessons that i need to learn in this situation but there is still something that needs to come in and there is also the bigger picture everything happens in divine timing and anything that is happening in your life the creator is there with you on this journey the creator it is being brought into your life for a reason you know there is a reason why it is happening and it is from going through this you know even going through that stagnancy going through whatever it is that is going on for however long it may take that you are actually learning certain lessons. You know, you may just be learning to be patient. You know, it could just be that you're learning patience on your journey. You know, you may think I've learned patience so much on my twin flame journey, but there is still something that you need to learn. And then, or you may be learning acceptance, you know, just accepting your life as it is in the present moment, accepting that this is the situation right now, and trusting as well that everything is being sorted so that it comes in for you at the right time. So it's about getting to that place of acceptance, getting into that place of actually being okay with the way that your life is at the moment, understanding that it is being brought in. Nothing is ever just a coincidence. You know, it's not just happening for some unknown reason. There is a reason behind it. There is something that you don't see that is helping you to get to where you're truly meant to be. So the angels are saying it is about getting to that place of accepting the situation for what it is and understanding that you are actually exactly where you're meant to be. And also just being in the place of accepting, you know, that you are exactly where you're meant to be and accepting that the creator knows when the right time is for things to move forward for you. So, and also, even if things may, may seem stagnant, like there's nothing going on, you know, there are other things that are happening behind the scenes. It's about remembering, thank you, angels. It's about remembering that it is not just you in this situation. You know, there is your divine masculine as well. There are things going on with your divine masculine on the other side. You know, maybe they need to get to that place of being okay or of doing certain things in their life, you know, that need to happen whilst you are having this time of stagnancy. They need to heal certain things in their life. They need to work on certain things for themselves whilst you are in this place of stagnancy during which you are learning acceptance. You're learning um patience you know you're learning to be joyful in your life no matter what challenges you're facing no matter what stagnant situation is in your life but in during this time your divine masculine is also working on themselves so that they get to where they need to be so that you know when things start moving you know they have actually reached a certain point in their life for them to then be able to for you to then be able to get together so there is so much going on you know it may be something another situation that needs to move forward in relation to your journey it could be to do with the, your partner or you know your job certain things that need to happen there so there is always that bigger picture you know if you're in a relationship where there are children you know a marriage that you are divorcing with their children they they also come into this whole picture so the angels are saying it is about seeing that every situation that is going on in your life the creator is in in that situation with you the creator is seeing the bigger picture the angels are seeing the bigger picture and it is all happening to help you to get to where you are truly meant to be even though it may all seem stagnant you know it is all happening to help you to get to where you're truly meant to be maybe it might just be you just getting to the point of being like okay, I understand that, you know, the creator has got this journey for me right now. This is the way things are meant to be. And, you know, and I will find my, uh, my a way to do things that bring me joy in my life, even if the situation is the way it is right now. And it is about getting to that place of getting into that place of truly being 
um, you know, of, of really sort of feeling like I am exactly where I'm meant to be without it actually triggering you. Maybe the lesson that you're learning is to release, to work on healing that trigger about the fact that where you are right now is actually where you're meant to be. So look within yourself to see why that trigger is coming up. You know, when you hear that affirmation, even though you know in your head that this is the way it is, but somehow there is still something within you that is making you feel like, no, I should be somewhere else. Whereas everything is happening in your life right now so that where you are is where you are meant to be so that it helps you to get to where you're truly meant to be. You know, these are messages that are literally just coming through and, and I am just saying what is coming out. And, but that is the message that's coming through from the angels to really sort of work on that trigger as well, you know, to work, find out why it is, why are you feeling that way? Why does it trigger you to hear that when really you know that this is the way things are because everything is coming from the creator. Everything is happening. So it takes you or gets you to where you, you would love to be. But right now, the situation, whatever it is, it is about knowing within yourself and also getting to a point where it doesn't trigger you that you are exactly where you're meant to be. And, you know, last year I was in the place where I did have that feeling of, of the fact that it did trigger me. And right now I would love to make a change there. You know, I would love to walk away from, from my job, but I am still seeing that there are reasons, even though I don't quite know what those reasons are, but you know, the bigger picture, but I do understand that there are reasons. And I have really got to a point in my heart of really being accepting of the situation for what it is and being grateful for the situation for what it is you know it is teaching me to get to that point of being okay with my life trusting that the creator has got me the creator is my source and the creator is helping me to get to where i truly want to be but that will happen not in my time it will happen in divine timing so i continue to do what i enjoy doing and continue to work on manifesting or doing the work that I would like to do, you know, keep working on the channel, keep trying to make things bigger on the channel, you know, just keep doing things that bring you joy in your present moment, in your present situation and, you know, and find that joy in your life and let be able to let go of, you know, I am exactly where I'm meant to be actually being a trigger. And, you know, that could really just be that lesson that you are learning that, you know, you do have to just get to the place of being okay with the situation that you are actually in. So that's the message that was coming through. I will have to watch this as well to see what the message was truly was, but it is really about getting to the place within yourself where you're truly accepting of where you are. You understand that it is all happening for the highest good. It is all happening to help you to get to where you're truly meant to be. You are still going through a time of preparation. You know, you are still going through a time of certain things happening within yourself. You know, certain things that you need to work on, even healing yourself, certain things that need to happen in other situations to do with your divine masculine, to do with other people involved as well, so that everything sort of works out as it is meant to. So it is about working on getting to that place of actually, you know, feeling in yourself that I am exactly where I'm meant to be because I trust and have faith that I am in this situation or there is this stagnant situation that is actually in the end going to work out for my highest good and it is going to work out for my highest good because i have that faith and i have that trust that you know the creator is there helping me the angels are there helping me to ensure that you know everything works out exactly as it is meant to work out so i hope that really helps and or helps someone at least out there you know in relation to really sort of getting to the place of accepting 
you know, that where you are right now is exactly where you're meant to be, you know, of, and it may be helping you to release certain fears. You know, there's still certain subconscious fears within you about, you know, changes that you need to make about certain things that you need to do about, you know, about you, the way you feel about yourself. So all this stagnancy that are going on in whatever situation you're in will be helping you with this. So that's the message that's coming through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in some messages from heaven as well to see what the angels would like everyone to know today. So thank you, angels. What messages are coming through for everyone in relation to this message that has just come through? Thank you, angels. Okay, so the first card that came out is Archangel Michael saying you are safe. So Archangel Michael is saying, You're, you are safe. You know, whatever is going on, whatever stagnancy may be happening in your life, know that you are safe. You know, you are protected. Everything is coming in from, from heaven. And the next card that came out is, focus your mind, Archangel Uriel. So Archangel Uriel is saying, focus your mind with the end result, the things that you want to do for yourself, the things that you can do in your life right now to find the joy, to be in the place of working on yourself as well, to release whatever is holding you back from feeling that you are exactly where you are meant to be. So focus on your mind, on working on yourself, focus your mind on self-love, focus your mind on the things that you can do that will help your journey to move forward as well. And then the next cards that came out is uh, Archangel Gabriel saying, this is a fertile time for growth. So this is a fertile time for growth. You know, this time of that stagnancy is actually helping you to grow. So it is a fertile time for growth. It is helping you. It is preparing you for where you are going to be, where you want to be for that life that you want to have with your divine masculine. You are still le learning certain things. It is a fertile time for growth. So this stagnancy is actually helping you to grow within yourself. And the next card is Archangel Michael saying you have the power. So you have the power to really sort of stand in your power as a divine feminine. You have the power to do the things that you truly would like to do as well. And then the next card that came out is Archangel angel Azriel saying I am helping you to connect so you're being helped to connect with your divine masculine being helped to connect with the creator as well and you know just also connect with yourself you know to really sort of work on yourself and heal yourself so that you can be able to move forward on your journey and we are going to bring in as well the angel numbers oracle 101 okay let's pull uh, that's half the deck that has fallen out thank you angels what messages are coming through for everyone Okay, wow. Okay, so the cards that came out here is change your perception. So the angels are saying it's about changing your perception. You know, get to that place of actually feeling like I am exactly where I where I am meant to be. Work with whatever is stopping you from feeling this way. You know, understand that it is all happening to help you to get to where you are truly meant to be. You know, I said I used to be in this place of wanting to, you know, just walk away and it was all in my mind. I was in the place of negativity. But then I then realized I, you know, that I needed to change my perception, change my perception to that of gratitude that, you know, I am actually in this place. There are positive things that are happening, even in this situation that I would like to change. So it's about changing your perception. So use gratitude as well. It will really help you to change your perception. And the next card is hello from heaven. So you are, your spirit team is with you. So you are not alone on this journey. Everything that is happening, you've got your spirit team with, with you, you know, guiding you, ensuring that things move as they are truly meant to, you know, even what may seem like is stagnant is actually things moving forward, your growth moving forward. So, you know, your spirit team is with you, guiding you all the way on your journey. And the last card is stability ahead. So the angels are saying stability is ahead. It's about you living your life in the present moment, knowing that all is well because you've got that support of your spirit team, the support of the creator, of the angels that are helping to bring in that stability that is ahead for you.
but there certain things have to happen first for that stability to come in so it's about understanding that the situation that you're in you are exactly where you're meant to be because it is helping you to then be able to bring in that stability that is ahead in the right divine timing i hope you have a great day guys and i really hope that helps someone out there i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light